Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saigon and we're playing Legendary Iron Man. <clears throat> it is month number five. And for those of you who are longtime viewers, you are aware that we yet again got completely bombarded with way too many missions. Uh, just as we have infiltrated or started infiltrating every single one of them, it so happened that Advent is now uh, fighting back. We have liberated uh, the northern part of Africa, but West Africa here is still under heavy surveillance of Advent. And we're now having a so-called unhindered operations mission, which means we, plus um, a few of our... Uh, resistance operatives need to defend the Haven. I've pr already prepared the team. Let's just double check that the team is still good. We're going in with Double Sniper, uh, Divat, Taxman, Dark Tower, uh, Renvan. Uh, we do have Outrider with us, Blaze and Roby. So that's going to be an interesting mission guys. Let's rock. And here we go. Time to defend our uh, building here. We know the baseline is around 20 enemies. And we start in high ground, which is great because we can position our snipers over here. It's just going to be lovely. So damn good. All right. What a good time for Oscar Mike. <clears throat> so that everyone can move even faster. Okay. Taxman here is moving first. Grappling. And thanks to our equipment, he'll be able to support the team right in front here. Which is perfect. Our second sniper, Divot, is going to position himself here. It's still a good aiming angle. The problem is uh, the building is a tad in the way. And another problem is that we're, of course, going to find the Advent Forces. All right, well. Hmm, let's see. I'm not sure if Divat can survive the entire enemy team there. Let's move up and give him a protocol. That way he's considered to be in he was already in, considered to be in full cover because for him half cover counts as full cover. Yeah, so this here is full cover. Nonetheless, what do we have? The Vipers are meaningless. Yeah, maybe he's going to get mind controlled. Um, he's probably not going to get stasis. I instead think that the priest will do a holy warrior, so it's going to be one shot plus the drone here. Good. Let's give Diva the aid protocol. And I do have a general idea of what we can, uh, what we should do. We're sticking with the team here. Moving to here, which is still out of line of sight.
You know, this one here would hit both of the Vipers. The first couple of rounds will be pretty important. So that's what I, uh, why I'm willing to play aggressive. Getting in a good position and essentially getting the enemy down. Not sure if we need the grenades yet. <clears throat> we could run and gun and offer a second target. think so moving over to here fortifying so that it were considered as if we would be standing in full cover Dragon over here will hand over an extra action. Are you shitting me? Uh, she can't see our technician. Well, that's tragic. Which means my original plan to blow things up is not going to work. Well, let's reconsider it. Two tiles discrepancy still means that we're going to hit all of uh, them. Just not as intensively. And they can't move away. Good. We got them pinned down. Let's just get our rookies here in a defensive uh, position. I'm afraid that something will come from the other side. Good copy. Moving on target. Position confirmed. Trying to spread out a little bit to lower the impact in case uh, that there is indeed something coming from the other side. Good. All of the rookies can go for an overwatch. Um, moving Renvan in. I guess that'll be okay. Don't need run and gun yet. I think we're fine. Well, the weapon range pretty much kills that idea. But we could move all the way up to here and kill them. Alright, fortify.
Run gun. And let's start with a Viper. Nice little kill. Good job. Implaceable, which is even better. Moving all the way up to here. Okay, I'll go. So we're closer to the team. I like <coughs> that idea. It accumulates the negatives. So let's do an area suppression. We're overwatching because the drone will fly up. And Outrider moves in. Everyone else overwatches. We used a reasonable amount of um, of cooldowns. I still think we're fine. So we got like what? Untouchable? Yeah, we got untouchable and implaceable. I think we're okay up here. Could go down to here, which is probably even a better move. We go super aggressive to here, which is probably not necessary. Going for full cover. And that leaves us with uh, with only two enemies that are unchecked. Both of them will probably use the psychic powers. Oh shit, that is really bad news. Chrysalids. Definitely didn't want to fight against them. For starters, they can spot out uh, Dragonova. And moreover, they are a pain in the ass once they can kill civilians. Okay, cool. Stasis? No, Holy Warrior. Okay. Good, and the Overwatch trap for the a drone has worked quite well. Okay, Renvin cannot reach 
the Advent Priest over there. 66%. Hmm. I'm willing to take the short S's. We might kill two for one. Okay. Divad has the same chance. Another attempt. I'm taking fire. One down. Thousands to go. And there is the two for one. Let's take Renman here. Who's going to draw the last overwatch shot? Lightning reflexes prevents him from being hit. That's untouchable and implaceable. Plus, nice little loot. Scope is always good. Rock and roll. Seventy percent. Was a miss, unfortunately. So. Moving up, let's kill the viper, shall we? You know what? Divat, Divat can't even stabilize his gun, so I made a mistake. Uh, pistol fifty-fifty. Or we're holo targeting him. Let's do the holo targeting. Should have clearly done that prior to the shots. The rookies moves out, takes a flanking position. Enemy eliminated. And helps to protect. So we killed two Vipers plus um, a Guardian plus a Priest uh, plus. Uh, sector that's five drone six which means we have 14 more to go and we know some of them are chrysalids Renvin moves closer to the others. Darktown Noxus, double movement. And Blaze begins to move and Overwatch here. Outrider. <clears throat> Let's scout and take a look. You cannot run. What do we know about the enemies? Oh, oh. Hmm. 
Well, well, well. We don't have anyone else left over afterwards, so might as well wait for now. Yeah, I think we're going to simply hunker down here. Nice. Oh, hell. Hell yeah, that was good. Well, the chrysalid certainly repopulates, so it's good for him. Not so good for us. 14 hit points, by the way. Shit, they have spotted us out. You can never escape my sight. Okay, so we pulled all of the packs. That is full cover, by the way. I've chosen the position pretty much on purpose. And the chrysalid infestation is going to get worse. Let's see about Dragon over here. Reinforcements are not yet inbound. That's two kills with a remote start. Not as good as the one that we had beforehand, but it is what it is. Before we do anything though, let's assemble our troops. Alright, Rascal. The problem is we can't see anyone. Alright, Taxman gets an 8 Pro Call. And let's try to hack the mech. Thirty-three percent chan uh, chance only to control, which is too low. Sixty percent to shut it down. You know what? If we can't control it, we're simply going to um, kill it. Doesn't matter. Both of the activities would have failed. Okay, what I wanted to do originally was... Get our soldiers in range. Let's see. I think everyone short of Renvin is in range.
and since we do not yet have run and gun back this is probably the only or the best position for him to be for now okay two percent shots and more red shots on stunning okay well this what it is Good, so everyone's now in range, which means we're starting the round with get some. And afterwards we're remote starting. This car here essentially taking two of them out. Okay. Snipers are next. Trooper. And that's uh, that's the powered up mech. Let's go for the mech first. They're usually the highest threat. I got nothing. Yeah, now I'm regretting. The decision to power it up. Good, we can hold a target, one target. I want to be careful, this here will trigger the chrysalids. So we're going to here, which just barely does not trigger them, at least in my understanding. Let's get the scout down. Moving over here, trying to take away the full cover of the Viper. As always, liberal usage of our grenades when it comes to the resistance operators. There we go. That's exactly what we were looking for. Okay, Viper should die, uh, the Viper should die next, which means we're handing over a teamwork. Just trying to clear, uh, clear out that entire flank here. Good job, Roby. Pretty much got it under control. Okay, we still have a flashbang, which I'm willing to use to take this guy here out, making him a non-factor. Alright, I'll go. 
Okay, so. In terms of dealing with these guys. Moving into a solid position upstairs. Can we reach them with a the flashbang is the question. One of uh, them. Okay. Moving over here into half cover. And yes, uh, that here is the best thing we could do. Stall out for one more round. Essentially disorientating two of them. So we're spreading out, <clears throat> that way his rockets will kill only one of us at best. I'm probably going to steady the weapon to be honest. Unfortunately, this flashbang couldn't fully reach them. Just making sure we have the ones uh, that can be blinded covered. And overwatching. We're going to steady the weapon next turn. We're killing the mech. Probably going to use uh, rockets. No, it's not. That effect that missed, which is great. I was fully expecting that we're going to lose someone. That's one of those shit moments. Even more chrysalids. That stinks. Looks like they called him back up. If we were to put in a claymore, that'll hit all three of them. Matter of fact, all four of them. It's pretty good. A 
delicate placement. I will leave her action still up because there is a realistic chance um, that we will need to postpone the reinforcements by one round. Can't hit the claymore from here. But we're going to start with the mech first. Let's kill it. Come on. Not enough damage, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll probably need everyone on the other uh, side. Go for the mech, come on. Come on, focus. The rookies are somewhat left to their own devices here. Moving out. But there is only so much I can do. We need to kill the mech now. Let's kill it. For the love of God. Uh, the armor. We need this rookie to flashbang. Which means you. So we already... Oh shit. Could have gone down further. I was under the impression I would be able to hit it. Hmm, that's of course not so good. Good, moving over here. Happy now. We're in try on ammo. All right, the mech is down. We can't continue to stay here. The rocketeer will will use that and kill both of us. Unless we kill the rocketeer first. Let's see how the chrysalids develop. Chrysalids tend to be completely immune to fire, if I'm remembering correct. This year would pull even more chrysalids, which we do not want to uh, happen. So we're probably going to position ourselves over here. It's going to trigger an overwatch shot, but that's fine. All right, this here. Starts um, to attack all of them, which is great. Okay, as for our sniper, we can hit the rocket here. And we can hit it quite well. I'll you, I'll use the rocket here as a last resort. Well, 
Moving up. I gotta kill the chrysalids. I think chrysalids were also immune to flashbangs, not sure though. Never tried to flashbang them to be honest. Okay. We gotta get reasonably close without overdoing it. Moving to here. And instead of a single shot, we reload with the free uh, reloader and yeah. Two shots with 33% are still better. Let's see if we can get it down. Unfortunately not. At least we're far enough away to not get eaten alive. Can we somehow get all of them within the within the grenade explosion radius? That would be great if we could. But it almost seems as we cannot do that. Hmm. Flashbang would also only hit one of them at best. Yeah, we gotta retreat a, a tiny bit. And we'll probably need to suck it up that reinforcements are going to come in because Dragonova elsewise is gonna be discovered. Nice one. Well, we got uh, two overwatch shots. I think, um, depending on the version, some of the versions of uh, Long War gave all chrysalids uh, lightning reflexes. So I'm, um, to be very frank, I'm not honest whether or not that's still a thing. Couldn't get rid of the Grenadier, unfortunately. Overwatch. We're not. We cannot afford standing close together, so instead we're moving down. That way, at least the rocketeer will not use his rocket. Yeah, that won't. That wouldn't kill the chrysalid. So we're going to Overwatch with a second overwatch. Yeah. And we're 
simply go, uh, be, we simply need to accept that we are going to have reinforcements. I mean, we could delay them for one more round, but realistically, they are going to charge in our direction. She's going to be spotted out. And that means she's probably being uh, bitten. On the other hand, there are only two chrysalids, which means the first one spots her out, and then the second one gets a try. The first one cannot turn around mid-sprint. Mid oh, you know what? Let's give her Ghost Walker. Which means there's even a chance that she's not uh, that she's not going to be spotted out, and we're using Jammer to prevent reinforcements from coming in. Oh, that was a mistake. That was a mistake. I think we can kill the grenadier now. Just left his cover. No! She's going to be spotted out. Ah. And they seem to have increased uh, their movement distance. Luckily, we're immune to their poison. I need a more subtle position. Yeah, Dragonova is pretty exposed. Right, the chrysalids are definitely going to be a bane. At least we don't have to deal with an incoming reinforcements right away. Moving up. Ooh, that's a good idea. But that's a good idea after Dragonova has moved away. Moving is ordered. Good, we're taking high ground. Good. With the lightest weapon, place here by the way, heals Dragonova with one action and since uh, she has a pretty light weapon, we're going to be the one um, hitting the gas station. And that finally clears the vision and removes uh, our vision barrier. Back in concealment. Very nice. Good. Let's take a look at our snipers next. There's the exposed position. And holo targeting the other one. Let's do this. K 
Okay, we are going to move in, in for him. Of course. Good. That means our rookies have done a really nice job. Dark Tower takes an Overwatch. We're going to go for mass Overwatch here. Roby goes for an Overwatch. We need to decluster that here, by the way. Very dangerous. I will reposition. Good. We know there's a chrysalid like down here, so we're not going to go too uh, close. Specifically not when they are uh, buried, because uh, then they can spot uh, Dragonover out. Alright, let's see where the reinforcements are going to come in. Well, that's a strong pack. Alright, at least one overwatch shot hit. And we still got four chrysalids kind of running around. Um, on the rest of the map. So we had a pack of six, another pack of um, five, then another pack of six. That's like 17 plus two chrysalids and the reinforcements. I think we've seen all of the enemies. Oh, look at you. The mech cleverly just went inside of the building. Hoping that it would be safe. But not today, and not with these rookies. Can't unfortunately get close enough to throw the grenade. We only have a flashbang left over for him. That is unfortunate. Grenadier is probably too far away to reach them.
All right. Fortify. Reload. Run and gun. And let's take care of the mech first. Thanks to Untouchable and Implaceable, once we've killed it, we should be fine. First hit is automatically ta uh, is already taking it out. So, how do we deal with you? It would be nice to go up here and essentially flank him, but that's unfortunately not possible. And even Taxman only has a 50-50. Let's still try it. Maybe he can get rid of the cover. Get it together. Didn't work out super well. Good. Moving over here, simply because we have too little firepower on the side of the map, we're probably going to flashbang him. 0% chance, might as well overwatch. And we're getting closer. We're untouchable, so if he decides to take a shot at Ro uh, Renvin, that's fine. Moving over here. Flash out. There is the disorientation. And I mentioned already we wanted to spread out a bit. Good, putting Roby over here. And that's an Overwatch, another Overwatch. Atrana just st stays in the middle of them for now. The Chrysalids are the only enemies that she can't simply scout out. Good. The Advent Scout will die next turn. It's just a question whether or not he can still inflict damage this turn. And now that we've triggered this guy, never mind. Clever. Well, he couldn't miss that target. Very clever. Good. Renman if you say so. gets into position to finish the job. You know what? Might as well rapid fire. Okay. Moving further over here. What's over 
Let's use Outrider. We're not uh, going to get too close because I don't want her to be spotted out. But we can use her at least to get a line of sight if they unborrow. Good, and I think it's only the chrysalids, three more, if I'm not mistaken. My watch begins. Overwatch. Covering now. Running. Good copy. Moving on target. Good, putting everyone into, again, solid positions. Absolutely. And we're going to overwatch with the rest. Got it covered. Should have reloaded with Dark Tower. Covering now. Good. Good, time to kill the chrysalid. Big deal. Scanning. All right, steadying our weapons. I'm pretty sure the last chrysalid come will uh, come to us very soon. Outrider Overwatches. Covering now. Ready to go. Perfect time, by the way, to reload and Overwatch with everyone. Ready to rock. Come get some. Rock and roll. Scanning. Reloading. On Overwatch. Okay. Come on, run to our direction. Perfect. He's standing in the open. He hasn't reburrowed. And that should be it. Apparently it's not the case. I'm wondering... I think we have... Uh, mm, We've killed all of the chrysalids. Maybe we have missed the hedging of one of them. Oh yeah, that was the one. I even acknowledged that he was there. Perfect. Well, we at least had no casualties. I would have preferred a flawless mission, but I think that'll do. We're taking Advent apart one mission at a time, Commander. Impressive. Perfect. Divat gets his promotion, well deserved.
Kubikiri, of course. What else? And boy, oh boy, he has a lot of uh, points. I'm thinking about giving him kill zone. And combat fitness is a must have next level. Such a good soldier. Divat, you're going to get a kill zone. Nice. All right, Dark Tower got his promotion, and we're definitely going with Salvo. Quick Burn is also really good. Everything that essentially makes your actions free is super good. So yeah, we're going to go with that. Uh, cyclic fire is great. I also like the cool under pressure. I think we're going with uh, cyclic fire. Three shots. I know that he has pretty decent aim, so that'll make him even better. And we will get rapid fire. Yeah, or Bunker Buster, since we do have Cyclic Shot. Rapid Fire is great, but how often would we need that Bunker Buster on the other side? Yeah, I think in this specific case there could even be an argument made that you're sticking with uh, Cyclic Fire and uh, skip the Rapid Fire portion. And finally, we're going to get Field Medic here. Perfect. Plus, I think Chain Shot is a no-brainer as well. Fortify is great. And that is also not too bad, because it would uh, mean he has two flashbangs. But yeah. Chain shot, definitely a good ability. Good, we lost no one. We killed a lot of advents. The mission was a success, pretty much. Now the question remains. We got a big fat supply rate here. That's option one. Option two is continue the liberation mission. Option three is kind of do both and go for an uninfiltrated uh, mm, for an uninfiltrated we'll supply run, but we know how not, how well that worked the last time, right? <laughs> yeah. Everyone's tired. I was hoping that we could just continue going on to the mission with them. That's not the case. I mean, we'll get three more soldiers back over the course of the next 20 hours. So, that would be enough for unhindered operations. And we could, yeah, the, I was about to suggest we could simply wait until they are no longer tired and then go for the supply rate. You know what? 
fuck it, we're not going to do the supply rate. It's great and all. But it's probably not going to work out. So we got moderate infiltration on uh, most of the missions. Let me heal a bit faster for one day and then we're fielding a team for the liberation mission. All right, short scanning. Was uh, that enough to uh, get everyone back? Five more hours, almost almost there. Well, those sorts of tactics would work way better if the globe wouldn't be lagging as heavily as it does. So look at that, all of a sudden everyone recovered from their wounds and I couldn't even react. Got five more days here, which is still fine, we can do that. But it would have been more easy if we had enough time. All right, let me field the troop. All right, after playing around a little bit, I think I got ourselves a team that would uh, that could work. So instead of a moderate heavy baseline, we're essentially fighting against a heavy baseline. That's 25 to 27 enemies because uh, mm, it's either uh, fighting against 22 to 24 with four soldiers or having five soldiers with no equipment. Um, so I decided to pack on some equipment and we're going to go um, with a pretty balanced uh, team here. Uh, Divad is going to lead, uh, lead them, um, Wolverine and uh, Blaze for the front line, Overdrive is support and rec time uh, for cover remover. The good part about that is, I just double check the amount of um, of operators uh, that we have left over and there is enough to field another SWAT over here. Four days, 20 hours. It's not a lot, but let me introduce the other team to you. All right, here we go. <coughs> so the good news is we do have a second team available. And we're fighting against 35 enemies, but we would have a team of uh, really experienced soldiers here. Fury, Renven, uh, Mike Bravo, uh, combined with uh, cover removal, Nasty, and Rascal. Uh, we theoretically would have the chance to deploy another soldier, but given the limited mission timer. I'm not sure if that's going to be worth it. Let me shortly check it. Yeah, considering the odds, <coughs> I decided to go with another soldier. Taxman, unfortunately, uh, is tired, so we're running into the risk of losing more uh, negative effects on him. 
But since he's not directly fighting at the front line, I think we're going to be fine and he's not going to be shaken. Uh, we got a pretty solid team overall and we probably will need to invest some intel uh, to boost us up to only fight against 30 enemies. Um, or we're fighting against 40 plus enemies. I'm pretty confident that this team can handle quite a substantial amount of um, of enemies at the same time. High level characters with good equipment usually can do that. Which means we are infiltrating three key uh, missions. And on top of that, uh, we are getting two further missions uh, done. Um, here we would be able to continue infiltrating. <coughs> Given that it is a low level team, we might spend the extra day. We can start the mission anytime we want, but the extra day wouldn't hurt. Uh, maybe we get a we over infiltrate to 125 percent, essentially reducing the enemy uh, count. But that's most likely going to be our next mission. Avenger plotting new course. All right, we're scanning the crash site further. I still want to get the resistance mech. Oh boy, yet another mission. 10 days, 3 hours to reduce enemy's strength. That is great and we uh, detected it very early, which means we're going to do our mission now and we'll essentially take the um, take the team uh, from the smash and grab mission and uh, use it as an infiltration team for South Africa. Anyways, we're going to end the this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I appreciate if you support the channel and leave a comment and like uh, below. We are going to have a few interesting missions coming up. And it feels like we're kicking Advent's rear quite well. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye-bye.